Hello everybody, I'm Jane Younger, I'm Head of Art at Long Benton High School. Now should you want to take Art and Design at A-Level, then hopefully you'll have taken a course at GCSE uh, to a good standard and or the equivalent. You should be interested in developing your art practice and your interests in art. Um, we'll spend a long time developing your practical and your written skills and you'd be expected to study your projects in far greater depth than perhaps you have done so far. In our course, we offer traditional uh, practices such as oil painting, printmaking, ceramics, textiles, but also digital media. Uh, students uh, enjoy creating video, photography and installation. The assessment is in two parts. There are two components, both mainly done in year 13. Year 12 is largely spent developing skills, extending students' knowledge of other artists, and developing their own personal practice. Component one, we usually start around June in year 12, so that they've got the summer to develop their research. And that ends at the end of January in year 13. Component one is a practical course uh, where students develop a portfolio through an investigation into a subject of their choice, it also includes a written element of an extended essay of between 1,000 and 3,000 words. That component is 60% of the A-level grade. Component two is an externally set assignment set by the exam board. The students get this assignment in the February of year 13 and they choose a starting point. They develop that as a practical project and that ends in a 15 hour control test where they make the final outcome based on their research. That's usually at the beginning of May. Both components are assessed in a very similar way to GCSE in that the assessment is split up into four areas. The first one is in research. So they would be researching the project, they would be researching the theme and the artists that are relevant to that theme. They would, be, uh, they would get marked on how they refine their work, how they make it better through their experimentation with media, processes, techniques and composition. They would get marked on how they record their ideas. So through drawing, through photography, and through written notes. Drawing is really important and the quality of drawing is really important. Yeah. And then they would also get uh, assessed on their final outcome, which uh, has to be linked to all the preparatory material that they've done. Each of these areas are equally weighted and carry 25% of the mark. So, is this subject right for you? Do you really enjoy drawing? Are you prepared to spend a lot of time in developing your projects in your own time, working on your sketchbooks? Do you enjoy uh, working through problems and ideas in a visually creative way? Do you want a career in the creative sector? And if all of those things are true of you, then you should be taking art and design. There are lots and lots of careers in the creative sector. Given that every single man-made object is designed by somebody, then you can imagine that there are a lot of careers out there. Uh, starting with the fine art careers in people who are actually making uh, objects to sell, to uh, things that are much more modern and current such as animation, 
video art, um, motor vehicle design, that sort of thing. Many of our students do a foundation course after they leave A-level at one of the local universities because a foundation course is free and an, a brilliant grounding for A-level in art and design. Um, although some do go straight on to do um, degrees in one of the design fields. If this course is for you, then jump on board. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Thank you very much.